Hartford Hawks basketball with Jen Rosati is brought to you by St. Francis Hospital and Medical Center, Manchester Honda, and Coca-Cola. Hi again, everybody, and welcome to Hartford Hawks basketball with Coach Jen Rosati. I'm your host, John Holt. Coach, good to see you again, and happy holidays to you. Yes, you too. Good to be back here on uh, CBTV Sports uh, for this season, our first show, first of four, and mm -hmm. big difference from last year. You went to the NCAA tournament, but it was a challenging start. This year, a much better start for the team. <laughs> what has uh, been the key? Well, I think we're just a little bit more mature. Um, last year, it took us a while obviously to adjust to not having Diana Delva and Erica Beverly out there and um, just to find our identity and you know this year now we're we're running the same offense for second consecutive year we our juniors are now a year older and uh, we just have a you know a little bit more put together at this point of the year and I think obviously the end of last year and how we came together has certainly helped with the start of this year. The fitness level for the team, that was a focus for you, and it's, yeah. it's been much better this season to start the year? Absolutely. Uh, you know, the guys just made a concerted effort over the summer to to come back and, and be in better shape. We had a chance to go to France in August and uh, gave us extra practice time to, you know, get them a little bit higher level of fitness there and also get them more reps on the basketball floor. So overall, I feel like our team is just at a different place me me mentally, and we're able to go up and down and play the style that we want. We're able to pick up full court and uh, play a deep rotation and we weren't at this point uh, last year we had injuries we had guys not in shape and we just didn't have confidence in as many people off of our bench so we've grown a lot in a year's time the trip to France in terms of chemistry and team bonding and the experience for the players makes a huge difference doesn't it it does it does it gave our freshmen an opportunity to get into the swing of things early and learn the offense and learn how to play with their teammates so uh, they're they're a step up than you know probably compared to normal freshmen at this time of year and it gave our upperclassmen a chance to get reps and, and also to continue to see the things that they needed to work on and even the time between the end of that trip in August and the beginning of practice I thought our kids even stepped up their level of conditioning from that point on because they really were exposed in some ways because we played some really tough competition over there. Did you anticipate this sort of impact from your freshman class? And Amber Bepko for one out of Mercy High School and Mary Guilford Connecticut has been in the start starting lineup. Did, yeah. did you for, see that with this group? I, I definitely thought that they would make a pretty immediate impact. I wasn't sure which ones, you know, I thought obviously Katie Roth being out with an injury, I thought she was somebody that could help uh, bolster our front court a little bit and it's been the guards that have really come into the rotation and done a nice job and they've needed to. That's where we've uh, we, we have our least amount of depth and uh, Amber just uh, I think has pleasantly surprised all of us with her great instincts and her work ethic and her tenacity and that's what's earned her that starting spot and uh, she just has really good knack for the game she knows uh, you know when to pass when to shoot she's great on the defensive end for a freshman so it's been nice to see her adjust and I know it hasn't been easy but I also feel like Shanice and Sherelle have had big games for us where they've either hit big shots or they played extended minutes uh, so they've had to grow up pretty fast because we don't have anybody else to put in once you go past Alyssa and Daphne and Alex it's just just all freshmen left at that guard spot and they've responded well. Of course the heartbeat of this team has been your gem of a junior class, that mm -hmm. quartet, and you have it for another year after this one, but they have really been the key in the foundation, have they not? They have, and, and that's one of the reasons we were able to do what we did at the end of last year is that that class finally grew up and became juniors at the end of their sophomore season, and uh, this year they just kind of took off where, where they left off last year, you know, just uh, you know, leadership, um, responsibility, accountability, and competitiveness. They bring all of those to the table every day, and they just make us better um, every game, every day, every month. And so I'm just really proud of how they've responded and how much, um, you know, just care and how much uh, responsibility they take for the outcome of every single practice and every single game. Again, as in years past, you have not shied away from challenging non-conference <laughs> games, yes. including the preseason WNIT. You won two games and went out to play Notre Dame, one of the best teams in the country. And uh, later here in the preseason, nice wins over Hofstra. Boston College out of the ACC, so bring on the competition, right? <laughs> we always want to put ourselves in a, a position to be challenged early. Last year it exposed our weaknesses on a, a whole nother level, but in the end 
it really prepared us for what was to come. And this year, uh, it, it puts us in a position to look at where we are on the national scene and what we need to do to be considered a, an NCAA tournament at large team again. And that's kind of our goal every year is to be a team that that people around the country are looking at that deserves to be playing in the postseason. So, you know, we, we wanted to balance our schedule playing in the preseason NIT, allowed us to have a few more home games, uh, but we also wanted to make sure we played a challenging schedule on the road and having to go down to Marist and St. John's and, you know, we have to go on the road at Providence and Richmond. It's, it's, it's a good chance for our team to grow and to learn from those experiences and find a way to, to get those quality wins. One of the games we saw here on CBTV Sports was that Hofstra game, mm -hmm. good team yeah. out of the CAA. And what did you learn about your team in that <laughs> game where you fell behind but, but put up a, a nice result in the end? Uh, you know, I was really proud of their guts and just their uh, just competitiveness and determination. I think we can't. We we're coming off of two losses, uh, not losses that I was happy with. And um, the St. John's loss, I felt like we really played um, in a way that just was was didn't allow us to be proud of our competitive mm -hmm. spirit. And, and we didn't play in our style. We didn't win or lose our way. And so I talked to him about Hofstra that this is hey, this is the best team probably on our schedule up to this point. We need to play our game and we need to be proud of the way we play regardless of the outcome. And we stuck to the little things. We stayed together throughout the game. We found a way to get better defensively as the game went on. Uh, so when we sat in that locker room, even though obviously we were happy that we won, I think we were more happy with how we played and how we competed and how we stayed together as a team. And our team has certainly learned from that experience. Quick thought on your only senior on this team, mm -hmm. one of your captains, uh, Kyoko Mars Garrick. We haven't seen her yet. Yeah. When will we see uh, Key back in action? Well, I'm, I'm hoping to have her at the start of the year. Uh, 2012 will be her year, and I'm excited to have her back. She's been great on the sideline, very positive, you know, even though she's discouraged. But, uh, you know, she's, she's going to be practicing with us over the next couple weeks, and we're hoping to have her for that Albany game. All right, plenty more to come on this first show of the season. When we come back, our Manchester Honda player profile. It is junior Nakia Smith. You'll find out about her future interests, including teaching and her interest in sign language. Also ahead, the Coca-Cola top scholar, it's sophomore Taylor Clark. Plus, the first basketball tip of the season from Coach Riz. That and more when we come back on CPTV Sports.